Welcome to ACE Teachers Online, a series of online tutorial videos for students. My name is Justin, and today we'll be going through a question on Schrodinger's model. Today's question will be dealing with the most recent model of the atom. So we've come a long way since developing models of the atom. We first started with Dalton with its solid balls theory, and then to Thompson with its plum pudding model, and then to Rutherford with his planetary model, and then even over to Bohr with his idea of different quantum shells. And finally, the idea of Schrodinger, the quantum mechanical model, is perhaps the most abstract, yet the most profound model of the atom that we do have. Under this model, electrons have probability density functions, which determine where an electron is likely to be, but not precisely its location. That means there is a non-zero chance that one of the electrons in my body is right now on the other side of the Milky Way galaxy. This kind of model, this quantum mechanical description of the atom, is something that's never done before, and in fact gives rise to many controversies determining whether uh, and how we should interpret this model. Is it a model in which when we look into it, reality collapses? Or is it some kind of model where superposition is so built in that electrons really do exist all over space? This is what we're going to be dealing with today. Schrodinger's cat, a famous thought experiment in quantum mechanics, proposes that a cat in a box can be simultaneously alive and dead before an observer looks into it and reality collapses into one possibility or the other. Schrodinger, who proposed this experiment as a joke, also wrote, the psi function, i.e. the wave function of the entire system, would express this by having in it the living and dead cat, pardon the expression, mixed or smeared out in equal parts. Explain how the Schrodinger quantum mechanical model of the atom has been shaped by this thought experiment. To answer this question, we have to consider four key points. The first point is to understand that the Schrodinger's model is a probabilistic model of the atom, where mathematically defined wave functions provide indications as to where electrons could be. The wave functions obtained from solving the Schrodinger equation similarly spread out the charge of the electron over a region of 3D space known as an orbital. This is in a similar way to how the living and dead cat are spread out over this entire system's wave function. To gain the last two marks of this question, you must identify two other features of Schrodinger's model which are explained well by Schrodinger's cat. For example, you could talk about how the uncertainty inherent in this thought experiment reflects the uncertainty we see in the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So here we have that the momentum and position of an electron can never be determined simultaneously. And as we see, there is a an error of h on 4 pi, where h is Planck's constant. Furthermore, electrons behave with a wave-particle duality, which means they have wave properties like light, as well as particle properties. This can be seen through many different experiments in the past, such as Young's double slit experiment. This can be thought of as the cat being alive and dead. In fact, if you want to bring up de Broglie, who was another scientist who proposed that the electron is a superposition uh, in a standing wave uh, orientation, this can also be brought up. The third idea you can bring up is that the notion of a cat being both alive and dead is preposterous. So this begs the question as to what kind of scale are superpositions actually likely and make sense. We know that on the quantum scale, electrons can occupy a superposition of states, for example, up and down spin, and as we can see from the wave function, many different areas around the atom's nucleus. However, when we try to scale this up to the size of a cat, does this really work? So this idea of quantum mechanics being a probabilistic model is put into question. In fact, it also puts into the question the role of the conscious observer in quantum mechanics. Do superpositions only exist before a conscious being observes them? Or are they part of reality? This kind of question also plagues the calculations behind quantum mechanics. The fourth point is that unlike the cat, which only has two states, either alive or dead, electrons can have up to 16, which are governed by four quantum numbers. Each quantum number represents a different property of the electron's position in 3D space, which is probabilistically determined. 
As we can see here, we have on the board the wave function of an electron. This is the psi squared function, which can tell us about the probability density of an electron away from the nucleus. We also have Heisenberg's uncertainty equation, as well as a few orbitals that I've drawn here. So these orbitals are the 3D spaces in which these electrons can occupy. So unlike the cat being alive or dead, this is similar to that. However, electrons have physical 3D spaces in which they either are in or out, but we will never know for sure. So remember that the wave particle duality and the uncertainty principle are fundamental principles that underlie all of quantum mechanics. The wave function, the probability density function, and orbitals describe where the electrons are likely to be. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, look at our website down below and keep tuned for more ACE teachers online.